Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Friday. It's cocktail day, and you can tell that Cody's really excited about this. Um, he has been experimenting again, and he's doing quality control. So, um, we're in for a treat because this is another one of his uh, creations, and uh, <laughs> it's another one of his creations and inventions. And he was up here. Do you want to well, technically, we haven't actually tried this one. Yeah, I haven't tried this one. I tried a couple of different ones. They did not turn out well. They're an automatic no-go. I don't know where my water's here, but let's go ahead and start with... And our... you just put your water right back. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Let's start with um, a brief message from our partner, uh, Rain Cane. And I will get ice while we're away. Okay. Hey, Cody. How are you today? <laughs> so, we're getting ready to... Um, work our cocktails for Friday, and um, some ingredients we um, tend to use a lot. And vodka is one of them, right? Yeah. So uh, when I make uh, cocktails, I really like a good vodka, and we've used some different brands and everything. But we discovered Rain Cane just recently, and I poured you some. And Rain Cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had. Yeah, it's been up there because you can... No. <laughs> and you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah. It's... And it's not low proof or anything. It's 40% alcohol. Yeah. It's an 80 proof common vodka um, from uh, Alaska. Actually, it's not from Alaska. It's from California. But they use Alaskan glacier water. Um, it is... The, so the... there's caveman pee in this? Okay. <laughs> Mammoth. Mammoth. Um... It's I really a, get the giant sloth and mammoth in this. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy it now. Um, Why wouldn't you? That's I, I just think cool. that this is what vodka should be. It is um, non-aroma, so it's not going to... Odorless, uh, colorless. Odorless, colorless. It actually tastes really good to me. It's got a... Yeah, it's, but not... It's a slight sweetness to it. Very, um, very slight. But it's not overwhelming, and I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color or the, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka because... It's supposed to be that. It's thing. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka is supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But... So um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Now, obviously, there's local laws um, that they have no control of. But if you are yeah. able to get uh, whiskey, or sorry, if you're able to get alcohol um, shipped to your house, um, which is most states, even here in Texas, um, then you can... Um, order this online. And if you do, um, there'll be a link below and that helps us out because we have partnered with them and we will um, continue to use Rain Cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it. Um, but it's a great, great uh, vodka. I think it's probably my favorite right now. There's always changes, but um, now there's flavored ones I like too, but this is my favorite plain vodka, and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right. Have a great day, and we're going to start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Welcome back. Um, we do appreciate, it, appreciate our partnership with Rain Cane. They are um, a great vodka, so make sure you... Uh, 
check them out and if you can use our uh conveniently <laughs> use our code to get a discount on rain cane so um what do you got in store for us uh, we're back to sake figured might as well try it we haven't done hardly anything with sake we've so. done nothing except for last week so exactly okay so what do you got here oh and uh, this is probably a no name no this one actually has a name what is it sake teeny sake teeny martini but with okay. sake instead of vermouth the sake teeny and if the sake teeny is already a thing this is our own version yeah i heard noises so did i so we'll start off with the sake. Okay. And and we just we're using a low proof sake. I don't know how high the sake proof I gets. I think it but varies. Yeah. We will do one ounce of sake. One ounce of sake. Okay. Since we're making a double, I put two. Okay. In a uh, shaker. Shaker with ice. And then we will do two ounces. Vodka? Sure. Two ounces of vodka. And again, we're using rain cane. It's got that great um, flavor without a lot of odor. Not even sure it's vodka. It could be water. <laughs> Spicy water. That's because Andy's been up here drinking it and refilling it. Could be. Yeah. And then, because I have found that sweetening your sake helps a lot with the flavor, yeah, we're gonna do an ounce, an ounce of simple syrup. So because it's a double, it's gonna be two ounces. Ooh, it's gonna be quite sweet. Yes, I figured since it's so little ingredients, might yeah. as well try that. If it doesn't turn out, this is the failed sake teeny. If we die and this episode never airs, then we okay. can know. I saw a bitter. Yeah. Do we want to add bitters afterwards? Or? No, I'd add them in there. So ginger bitters work really well with okay. the... Okay. Couple dashes of ginger bitters. You can have that. Giving it a good shake. If we were more prepared with this and I'd actually done it, we could garnish right. with a piece Pushing of ginger. me further and further away. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Looks nice. Now you could double strain it if you wanted to get rid of some of the air bubbles, but it looks really nice. And I see a lemon. Yes. Let's taste it first. Okay. Very decent, actually. Oh, wow. And I'm thinking a lemon curl. I like that. <laughs> so do I. I was afraid, but I am no longer afraid. That was really good. Because when I taste... It's the right amount of sweetness, too. And this is essentially just without the tonic water and yeah. changing of the amount but it, it of ingredients. But it's the same ingredients minus the tonic water from yesterday. It has three ounces of alcohol in it, Last so week. you got to be careful. Yeah. Okay. Does that do anything? The he did this uh, a couple weeks ago, and I found a uh, lemon in my refrigerator that was just swirly peels taken off. Okay, I leave that to the cleanup crew. On the next episode, which we're gonna film back to back because I'm going on a trip, we'll use something where we squeeze lemon in it. Yes, and it will be a different lemon and not the one with the cool mm. cues out. You can smell that lemon now. Yeah, the oil spraying over the top mm -hmm. definitely adds something. 
That's really good. It actually does. Yeah. It changes it. I mean, like, it's pretty good. That's you could also try doing an actual ginger root. Yeah. The if you tea. had ginger root, you could probably muddle it in the glass, then shake it. If you like it really gingery, it works really well. I don't Maybe think a I do. Garnish. Yeah. Uh, other garnishes could be besides the ginger root, but um, I think that with the sake, you could do a cucumber. Oh, yeah. And that, you could no, do yeah, possibly work. thyme. Maybe. Thyme would seem pretty good. Sprig. Or even a kiwi slice. Oh, I can see that, yeah. Yeah. This is really good. The yeah, sake I was teeny. actually pleasantly surprised. I was hopeful. Mm -hmm. This is kind of what I was going for, and then I tried to mess with it. This is going idea. to require us to have sake on the bar. Yeah, actually. Because I like the uh, sake tonic and the sake teeny. Yep. Next time, sake fashion. Sake fashion. <laughs> All right, so tell us what you think. Um, obviously, we don't know if there's a sakitini out there because we didn't look. Um, it's delicious, just out there. And there so be. if there is a sakitini out there, um, we'll look it up. But you can go ahead and leave comments below about what is in it. What's your favorite sake cocktail? That's also important uh, for us because we are exploring sake. Um, we only have one bottle, but I'm going to have to get more now. Yeah, and at least this one's available. Yeah. So um, tell us what you think about your favorite sake drink. That means a lot to us. Yes. I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, it's the um, it's budding of summer here in Texas. It's starting to get hot, and then it gets cold. It gets rainy, and then it snows. <laughs> and that's just in July. That's, that was just today. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Pretty no, it's, the weather's starting to get nice, so hopefully you're having some good outdoors. This would be a great uh, it wasn't finish hot some today. Out. That is yeah. not nice. This would be a great finish to this outdoors. Would, this would actually be a great end, you know, end of the hot day. Yeah. Make sure you check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday, every day at noon. And I'm working hard. I don't know. I'll be traveling this weekend, but I'm working hard to have a special tomorrow, a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Randy Sullivan from uh, Bourbon Roll Talk. So hopefully I get that done and out. We'll see. Um, and then you can watch uh, my interview on his channel, but I don't think he's gotten that out yet. So we'll see. Probably not. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Cheers. Cheers. That's the thumbnail. That was really, really good.